To make the shoe pastry, first pour the water into a medium saucepan and add a pinch of salt. Then add the butter to the pan and turn on a high heat and allow the butter to melt in the water, stirring occasionally. When the butter is melted, add the plain flour and stir the flour into the mixture vigorously until it combines. Mix thoroughly for about a minute until it leaves the side of the pan clean, like this. Then turn off the heat and leave to cool. Crack four eggs into a measuring jug and beat them together with a fork. Then chop the chocolate into small pieces and pour the water into the saucepan. Add the caster sugar and turn the heat to high. Bring the mix to the boil and allow the sugar to dissolve. Then add the chocolate to the pan and mix in the chocolate until it is completely melted. Add the butter to the pan and mix it in well. Then turn off the heat. Add the double cream and mix it in well. The sauce should become smooth and glossy. When the pastry mix has cooled, place the saucepan onto a tea towel, as this will give you a sturdy base when you mix the pastry together. Add a little bit of beaten egg to the pastry, then mix and combine the egg with the dough thoroughly. Add a little more of the egg and combine the egg and the dough once more. Repeat this process of adding a little egg at a time, until all of the egg and pastry mix is combined. If necessary, crack another egg into a measuring jug if the dough is still thick and has a dull mat. Then beat the egg with a fork. Add the extra egg to the dough mix and thoroughly combine it with a wooden spoon. The pastry mix should be a smooth dropping consistency and should be glossy when ready, like this. Spoon the shoe pastry dough into a piping bag, but don't fill it up too much as this will make the bag harder to use. Twist and secure the end of the bag and then cut off the tip. Pipe the pastry onto a baking tray in chestnut sized portions. Place in a preheated oven at 220 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 7 for about 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, remove the profiteroles from the oven. Place the double cream in a medium mixing bowl, then add the Baileys and the icing sugar. Using an electric handheld whisk, mix the ingredients together until you get soft peaks. Make a small hole in the bottom of each profiterole using a small knife. Spoon the Bailey's cream into a clean piping bag, then twist the end of the bag and ensure it is secured. Cut the tip off the bag and squeeze the cream mix into the hole in the underside of each profiterole. Serve the profiteroles by drizzling them with chocolate sauce and then dust with icing sugar to serve. Thank you.